What's up everyone, my name is Zach and welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be bringing you my February TBR. So these are all the books that I plan and will read in February. When I first started BookTube, I hardly made it through any TBRs that I ever made. But now that I'm putting out content regularly, I'm scheduling ahead, I do, I'm doing a really good job actually getting through my TBRs. I have a whole spreadsheet where I track like the videos I want to post when I want them to come out. And then I make a TBR every month in that spreadsheet. And I learned something really cool recently where you can make a progress bar that as you check off things, it shows you how far you are along in the progress. It actually will change color. So like if you've done only a little bit, it'll be red and then orange and then green and I'm obsessed. So I'm doing all things spreadsheets and I'm having a really good time with it. So I'll be referring to my spreadsheet <laughs> throughout the course of this video. All right, if you're new here, thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you haven't already, subscribing to my channel helps me out a ton. A like on the video goes a long way. And of course, I want to know, what are you most excited to read in the month of February? All right, let's get right into the video because we have a lot to talk about. I'm also gonna talk about some of my video plans that are coming that I'm really excited to do. So yeah, let's get right into it. All right. The first book, let's get this one out of the way, is The Mostly Ghostly Crew, which is my channel membership. We will be reading and watching Happiness for Beginners together. I don't actually know a lot about this. I picked it because I thought it would be fun to read and watch something together. It's pretty popular right now. And yeah, it's something that I've, it, it's been on my radar for a bit. It's by Catherine Center. It's a, it's, I know that it's a romance and then also kind of an outdoors book. I don't know. February is Valentine's, which means it's, I guess, the month of romance. I don't know. It just seemed like a good pick. And I'm, I think the Mostly Ghostly Crew will have mixed opinions about the book. So I'm looking forward to discussing it because of that. I think it'll be fun. And then obviously watching something with them. So definitely really excited for that. Um, and then the next video that I am going to do is going to have three new releases in it. One of them is going to be The Warm Hands of Ghosts. This is by the author of the Baron Nightingale trilogy, which I've actually never read, but I've wanted to read. This is her newest book. I got early access to it both on ebook and audio, so I'm very excited to check those out. Essentially, this is a historical fantasy with ghost-ish. Essentially, it's about World War One. It takes place during World War One and talks about like um, something about, I don't actually know a lot about the plot. I've listened to someone else try to describe it recently and they had a hard time doing it too. It's historical fiction. It takes place during World War Two. has ghosts, and it's about a sibling relationship too, I believe. Stay tuned. I'm going to make a whole video where I review that one. And then another book called The Haunting of Velkwood, which let me read you guys the tagline for this because it sounds so good. It says, from Bram Stoker award-winning author comes a chilling novel about three childhood friends who miraculously survive the night everyone in their suburban hometown turned into ghosts. Perfect for fans of Yellow Jackets. I've never seen Yellow Jackets, but my wife loves that show and I've been interested in maybe watching it. But yeah, I, I love this cover. It sounds like it's going to be something a little bit different. It's tagged on NetGalley as LGBTQIA+. Um, horror and sci-fi and fantasy. So mix all those things up and it sounds like a great book. And then the last book that will be included in that video is also an early release. All of these, when the video actually goes out, will be releasing very soon. I'm starting to time though so that people don't have so long of a gap between me talking about a new release and then them being able to get their hands on it. I'm posting the videos closer to the release date now. So the next one for that same video will be Listen for the Lie. This is another like podcast sensation kind of book where basically this girl, um, killed her best friend or okay her this girl is found wandering the streets covered in blood in her best friend's blood and she's being accused of murdering her okay and then i think some time passes and she gets called to help or to be a part of this podcast kind of like the podcast serial it seems like where the 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 podcaster is going to try to solve the murder because she says that it wasn't her. Um, her whole life has fallen apart since that day. And yeah, it seems like she's going to be a part of the podcast and they're going to kind of investigate what happened. I have an inkling there might be some romance because in the description, it says that the podcaster is like way too cute or something. I'm like, please don't let that ruin this book, please. So that's going to be three books that I read that I'm very, very excited about. 
And a beloved series of mine that I've fallen behind in, but the fifth book is coming out in April, is the Hawthorne and Horowitz mystery series. I have talked about this series a lot on my channel. I really love Hawthorne and Horowitz, who are like a Sherlock Holmes and Watson duo-esque um, detective duo in this series. It's really good. It has really good banter. The mysteries are very very exciting, thought-provoking, complex, but in a fun way. I love the dynamic between the two detectives. I love their writing. I love everything about the series. This is book number three, A Line to Kill. So I'm hoping to get caught up by April. So I'm thinking I'll read this one in February, the fourth one in March, and hopefully the fifth one in April so that I can get caught up. That one will not be part of a video. I'm reading several books that are not gonna be part of video so that in my wrap ups, um, there are more than just everything that is like, oh, go check out this video. Cause I do plan a lot of my content, but I leave room for myself to mood read throughout the month. Whereas this isn't really a mood read, it's just something that I want to read that's not part of a video series. And then I came up with this really cool idea where I wanted to try reading some sci-fi thrillers. So if you have any ideas or recommendations of books like these that I'm going to tell you about, definitely let me know. Um, but I'm going to be reading The One by John Mars, The Marriage Act, and um, the Echo Wife. So all three of these, the thing that they have in common is that they're kind of sci-fi thrillers. Um, I think the Marriage Act is kind of like a dystopian where people like have to get married and I think they find your match or something. I don't know. All of them have some sort of like dystopian sci-fi matchmaking element to them where people aren't necessarily like want to be together or but like an algorithm has said that they're compatible. I don't know. I'm really excited to explore sci-fi thrillers and see what that's all about and i'll obviously be making a video um so stay tuned for my thoughts john mars is an author i've been wanting to try for a really long time a while back a group of my patrons back when i did patreon read together the one and they really loved it and since then i've wanted to read it so now's my time <laughs> i'm gonna read it and i know that i'll have people to talk to about it because i know people who have read it and i'm really excited about that and i'm very excited about the video um yeah and the next video that I'm going to start working on, but has been delayed to come out until March, is I'm going to be reading all four of the Thursday Murder Club books. Um, this was voted on by the Mostly Ghostly crew. It was the one that won. And so that's what I'm going to be reading. It's going to come out probably at the end of March, but I'm going to read the first two. I have these all four in hardback coming from the UK because it was $17 for all of them in hardback. They're used, but they're gently used coming from World of Books. Shout out to Neve for helping me work on the black market to get books for cheaper than they were in the US. I logged into the exact same site in the US and it would have cost me like 30 more dollars than Neve logging in in the UK looking at the exact same books. Whatever, it doesn't matter. They're getting sent to me. I'm gonna have them all in hardback. I'm gonna annotate them. I'm gonna do a whole long video on it. I'm very excited. Um, I've actually already read the first Thursday Murder Club, but I'm gonna read it again and I'm gonna annotate it. I also have the audios, like I am so ready for this. Katie Colson recently said that the audios for the Thursday Murder Club series were very good. So I got them on audio and I'm gonna listen and annotate at the same time. So I'll be starting to read those two in the month of February. Okay, another fun new idea that I had that I'm gonna try out, no promises if this is gonna stay. So definitely would love feedback from you guys, but I've been trying to get into more nonfiction books, as you know, so I thought, what is a way that I can engage myself in the nonfiction book? Book report. I don't know, guys, listen, I don't know. I was just like, I could read a nonfiction book and then do like a book report on it where I like tell you guys the highlights. So I am gonna be doing While Idaho Slept and this is a true crime book. So I wouldn't really call what I'm gonna be reporting spoilers because this is an event that really happened. It's widely known. You can find information about it online, but I want to get to know the ins and outs of the case. And so that's kind of what I'm gonna be talking about. It's gonna be like a little detective book report series that I'm gonna try. This is gonna be the first try of it and we'll see how it goes. It's not very long. I'm going to annotate it. There's some pictures in here. I don't know, guys. We're going to see how this goes. And I would love to know from you guys, like, what do you think about that idea? Does it sound interesting to you? Um, I'm just trying to find a way to get into nonfiction because ultimately I want to learn. I want to know more about the world and I'm interested in true crime. I just, I don't know. We'll see what happens from there. And then the last book that's already scheduled, I have like three more places open on my TBR for for my book club that I go to in my community. We haven't picked our February pick yet. Um, and then 
any other things that I might want to pick up along the month that won't be included in videos, but will be in my wrap up, as well as any new releases that I get from NetGalley or Penguin Random House. I have a ton on Penguin Random House that I'm interested in, and I'll probably just plug in a few of those throughout the month. And then you all will see my reviews for those in my wrap up. So my wrap ups are becoming increasingly important. I want them to be a valuable part of this channel and not just me regurgitating everything that you've already seen in other videos. I mean, obviously at times that's gonna be the case, but it'll just be like a summary in case you didn't see the video or just, you know, maybe you'll hear it again. But I want there to be a space in those videos for new information. Otherwise, what's the point? I don't wanna waste your time. Okay, the last one, I'm gonna announce the next episode of What the Bleep that I just read, and I'm very excited about this. I am finally going to read Mayfly. Um, I don't know anything about this book. I don't wanna know anything about this book. All I know is that people have said that it's very disturbing. They'll never forget it. They'll never be able to look at certain things again. And I'm like, okay, I'm on board, which is not something I ever thought that I would say ever. But What the Bleep has just been such a really good time. And I'm really looking forward to it. This will be episode six of season two. I'm having a really good time with this. I'm so excited. Also, I'm very nervous for this one though, because I'm, I'm genuinely worried that it's gonna me up but stay tuned. We're going to find out. Okay. So those are the books that I hope to read in the month of February. Those are some of my really fun, exciting video plans. Of course, I have like three or four other videos that are going to be coming out in February that were not included in this TBR because either I don't have to read for them or yeah, other reasons that they were not included in this TBR. Maybe there's other things that are going to happen in the video. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm stoked for February. 2024 has just started off with such a great start. I've read some great books already and yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Content is going well. I'm loving what I'm doing and I love you guys and thank you so much for being here. I do want to give a very special thank you to the Mostly Ghosted crew for supporting my channel membership every month. That didn't make sense for supporting me through my channel membership every month you guys are awesome i enjoy hanging out with you on the weekends i enjoy all the things that we do together um yeah i appreciate you all voting to help me pick videos that you want to see if i didn't mention already the thursday murder club i did mention that yeah okay i'm very tired it's like eight o'clock at night um but i was too excited about this tbr to not film it any longer so Yes. Okay. I'm going to go now. I think I've said enough. Hope you guys are doing well. Um, I'll connect with you all on Discord and in the comments. And uh, yeah, a very special thank you as well to you for watching this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Here we go again. You think by now I know better. Locked in my head, romanticizing forever.